We're very close to finding out who the last two Big Brother housemates are. The phone line for the person who come, who's come third is now closed. While the figures are checked by an independent adjudicator, I am going to talk to the housemates' families. Now, they've been watching their loved ones for nine weeks, but they haven't been able to touch them or even just smell them. Guys, hello, hello, hello. Up here we've got um, Vanessa, who we did actually meet yesterday. Vanessa, I'm going to start off with you, your Dean's girlfriend. Now, is the Dean that we've seen in the house the Dean that you know, do you think? Um, pretty much. We've seen the full rounded Dean. I just don't think we've seen as many of his funny moments as we could have probably. Funnier. Yeah. He's funnier he than is. we've portrayed him. Absolutely. Well, he may be, yeah. Channel 4, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, could dig that. Um, Khan. Now, I'm going to lean over. Khan, okay. um, do you think Dean's got it in him to win? Definitely, yeah. And why? Why, Mandy? Uh, he's an all-rounder, he's sensitive, he's strong when he needs to be strong, he's funny, and he is a very good musician. OK, I'm now going to move on to Brian's family. Hello, Rosie. Hi, Davina. How are you? Fine. Now, Rosie, um, your son, Brian, told you that he was gay just before he went into the house. Yeah. And he's been worried sick about how oh, you were going to react. Yeah. How have you reacted to the no news? No problem, Davina. Brian no is fine. Problem at all. I love him as he is. That's it. No problem. And Michelle, how, have you, how do you think he's found being in the house? Stressful? Uh, stressful, yeah, but he's, he's had his down moments. Obviously, when he lost in the ring and bubble, he had his argumentative side when he came head to head with Josh. But I think overall, um, he's made some fantastic friends in there and he'll just cherish the whole Big Brother experience. Gerd, Gerd, <laughs> Gerd. Is it hard to live with sometimes, Brian? He's quite mad. Ah, oh, quite mad, yeah. Yes, good <laughs> but lovely. Yeah. We love him. Yeah. Moving over now quickly to uh, Helen's mum. Now, Liz, you've become a celebrity in your own right, love. <laughs> Are you getting recognised now? Frequently. Are you? Yeah, How What's that like? In Harrods. In, in Harrods? Yeah, get out of town. Get me for my autograph in the Rainforest Cafe. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah. You've done her proud, I must say. Very supportive Thank you. of you. And Paul, how weird have you been watching her in the house? Oh, <laughs> really, really weird. Uh, not nice. I, Is she I the same watching Helen her? watching her here oh, yeah, completely. than the Helen that we're seeing? She's, she doesn't change. She is that person. She's completely genuine, completely funny. She just doesn't, she just doesn't know she is. Brilliant. Well, we've heard from the uh, families now. I can now reveal the name of the person who has come third. I'm going to talk to the house. Okay. Big Brother House, this is Davina. This week, the nation has been voting for the person that they want to win, Big Brother. It is now time to announce the name of the person who has come third. The ninth person to be evicted from the Big Brother house will be... Dean. Yes! Dean, you've been voted out of the Big Brother house. You now have one minute to say your goodbyes and make your way to the main exit door. When that minute is up, the door will open automatically and you must leave the house. I'm going to remind the other two housemates that Big Brother rules state they're not allowed to step outside. Is that clear? OK, we're now going to activate the countdown. Vanessa, will you come with me? So am I. was voted for by the website. So they've chosen it for me. It's me, it's Beyonce! Okay, don't forget, guys, if you want to see her, you can yes. still vote for the other yeah. two. Don't worry about it, let's go now. Nice time! You go, you go. You go. You see, you move on, I see, you know. I won't mention any names because we can't. Okay. Yeah, man. We're going to say glad. Dean, you have finished yeah, you third. Please oh, leave finished. the Big third Brother two. house. Stuart.
goalkeepers. Oh. Woo. You can both come. Come with me. Plenty of time for couples. How are you feeling? <laughs> You don't miss the talk as well, do you? You don't have to. Hiya. Hello, How are you? Hello. I'm all right. Listen, a lot of people here are very excited to Darling. see you. I'm going to try and drag you to the crowd. On time, and I really wanted to get you back here to have That's as fine. much of a chat with you as I possibly could. Yeah, cool. How weird is it being sat here? Um, extremely. It's like uh, it's kind of like I'm dreaming. It's not really happening. Very, Did you very feel? Odd. Do you feel a bit disappointed about being third? You look very happy when I said your name. Not at all. Not at all. I think um, from very early on, um, not winning. Uh, winning was, was nothing to do with it really. It was just getting back to your life and that was like the biggest prize you could, you did, could you, have. did you do that? Um, yeah, I was, I was just concentrating on getting through it. <laughs> getting staying sane. And staying sane, absolutely. <laughs> like, yeah. Now look at your children. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, yeah. Your out, kids, yeah. wandering around, they're rattling around in that yeah. huge house. Uh -huh. What are they, thank goodness you're only without them for sort of an hour or so because so otherwise don't I don't know down. how yeah. they'd cope without you. you Look, they're kind of going, what should we do now? <laughs> Dean's gone. I was expecting a kind of, yeah, like a sort of frenzy if they were left on their own. Because but Brian has his moments Screaming. of becoming super uh, calm and efficient. They're probably just waiting now, aren't they? You did sort of adopt the role of dad. I'm just going to show you a few clips of you being quite dad-like. Oh, no. <laughs> Bob will say to me a few times, you know, when can we start playing tricks on Josh? I can just like, like on well, dad? Yeah. Okay, four days. <laughs> Helen! What's that? Where's your manners? If any of the casualties die because you don't treat them correctly, you've failed. Okay? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's clear. Good. Will you let me make it and be quiet? Okay. Or will I have to kill you? If I left this with you, maybe I could get a couple of nuts that fit on there um, and I could fix the lawnmower, which would be great for me. I love that. I love that because that's that is the real dad thing to do, isn't it? Totally. Go and fix the lawnmower. It's fantastic. I've never done anything like that in my life. Vanessa, before. you're very lucky. Yeah. You see, you've got a man here who wants to fix the lawnmower. Fantastic. Not anymore. And you didn't have an arm. <laughs> you didn't really have the armchair and slippers, but you did have your deck chair, which was where you did a lot always of your kind of daddy bits dad from. Always. Yeah. And the chair in the living room. Did I always go in that as well? Yeah. And had you had oh, remote controls, it, it would have been, been lined up on the arm, and they. Um, did you find it? frustrating to be living in the house with much younger people because Stuart left quite early on. Um, sometimes. I think a lot of the things we did were kind of uh, kiddie. Yeah. And it seemed, I suppose it was just, it just got to me after a long, long time of kind of dressing up as a cowboy and stuff. It just kind of be, it just wasn't really me. I, my favourite tight t-shirt oh hairdresser. No, no, <laughs> you no. looked great. Vanessa, didn't it? You looked fabulous in those little tight trousers. Mm. Yeah, lovely. Fantastic. We love that. And doing hair, you'll never live that one down. Yeah. Um, Brian, interestingly enough, I think, um, when after the Man in the Moon um, saga, you know, when he said he didn't know who the first Man on the Moon was. Oh, OK. Um, it's almost like he changed after that because he felt sort of almost a bit embarrassed to ask questions. So then he ended up pretending that he knew things that he quite plainly didn't. didn't because he was embarrassed, really, to say that he didn't know. So there was a lot of you biting your lip wasn't oh, no. there? Yeah. A sort of like, yeah. do, do you think? There was, yeah. But he's such a lovely guy, it's just like you can't, um, I felt like I had adopted him to be honest. You can't, you can't fault Brian. He's a great guy. I just want to take you back to look at some of those classic biting lip moments. Okay. 